guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel Archituber. I am architect Rebuli and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please uh, subscribe to my channel below. In this video, uh, we are going to be starting a new topic called building construction and materials. So, I will be referring uh, the book Sushil Kumar. If you haven't watched the video wherein I have shared all the books that you will be needing. So, do give it a watch. I will link somewhere here on the screen. And now in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the first lecture of the construction. So, uh, mainly it will be uh, on the side of introduction wherein you will get the knowledge of how the topic is and what you are going to be learning from this topic okay so without wasting more time let's get into the video now let's start with today's ppt uh, as i have mentioned i'll be discussing about introduction to the subject types of the building and components of a building uh, in this lecture number one okay so let's get into the video now as you all know when we are constructing anything uh, the components which we combine together makes a building complete okay so the components which consist of like floors walls roofs columns beams structural elements right it is different for different typologies such as residential unit will be different education will be different then business buildings will have a different construction technique construction material that can be used then manufacturing storage uh, then entertainment hospitalization and worships etc uh, then this method adopted for construction and choice of material to be used in the building it is also dependent on the factor of uh, occupancy the site location the climate of the site and the funds also then each city has a prescribed bylaws uh, that has different margins for the building then the height for the buildings staircase width as per the typology of the building then minimum areas uh, with uh, given the number of and size of the plot apart from this respecting bylaws the building design should ensure optimum utilization of built up space right then uh, thermal comfort should be there proper ventilation desirable illumination and acoustical characteristics should be there it should satisfy the functional requirements of people as we have discussed there are different types of building and this typology has different types of construction material and altogether it has a different construction technique also so the types of buildings are one being residential building second educational buildings third institutional buildings assembly buildings business buildings mercantile buildings industrial buildings storage buildings and hazardous buildings okay now we will see each of this type of the building in detail now as we all know residential means uh, if you combine one or more room uh, for housing purpose it becomes a residential buildings uh, which obviously requires some facilities and utilities uh, it can include dormitories hotels hostels houses flats etc then coming to the educational buildings this shall include any building used or school college or daycare purposes involving assembly for instructions okay then coming to the institutional building it is mostly for like government building public buildings and religious purposes um, it provides accommodation also for the occupants depending upon the type of the building then assembly building it is somewhat for groups of people and it is just like your amusement recreation centers and religious centers okay then now coming to the business building obviously it should cater to the transaction of businesses keeping accounts and records for similar process right then coming to the mercantile buildings it can be used for like shops stores and market display sales merchandise wholesale retails etc then coming to the industrial buildings it has different kinds of materials of all kinds then properties are fabricated assembled process for like uh, it can be for refineries gas plants mills dairies etc then coming to the storage or hazardous building it uh, has cold storage then uh, shades garage warehouses okay this shall include any part of the building which is used for the storage handling manufacture or processing of highly combustible explosive materials it is a part of hazardous building okay now as we all know there are some sort of components that makes a building one okay so as you can see in this right hand side picture uh, there is footing beam column 
देन वॉल एक्सटर्नल वॉल इंटरनल वॉल रूफ वॉल विंडो डोर्स एक्सेट्रा सो दिस ऑल द एलिमेंट्स कम्बाइंड टूगेदर नोन एज अ बिल्डिंग राइट एंड इफ नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द बिल्डिंग द बिल्डिंग इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स लाइक वन बिंग सब स्ट्रक्चर एंड वन बिंग सुपर स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ यू सी द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इमेज इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इमेज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड फ्रॉम बिलो द ग्राउंड देर इज लाइन गोइंग डाउन विच इंडिकेट्स सब स्ट्रक्चर दैट मीन्स द पोर्शन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग बिलो द सराउंडिंग ग्राउंड इज नोन एज सब स्ट्रक्चर वेर एज द पोर्शन अबाउ द ग्राउंड इज टर्म एज सुपर स्ट्रक्चर नाउ लेट्स सी द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ बिल्डिंग वन बाय वन नाउ कमिंग टू द फाउंडेशन इट इज द बेसिक एंड लोएस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग ओके एंड द डायगनल लाइन्स यू कैन सी ओवर हियर इज इट इज द ग्राउंड or your natural ground or your soil okay it the foundation is in direct contact with the ground or soil it transmits all the load from like roof to beam to column to slab to again beam column and then plinth beam and footing likewise the provision of foundation is made in such a way that the below foundation is not stressed beyond its safe allowable bearing capacity of the soil okay then there are two types of structures one being frame structure and the other is load bearing structure that we will discuss in another separate video also there are different types of foundation that can be used according the typology and the need of the building so we are going to be discussing that also in another separate video but for now just see the names of the foundations uh, like one being isolated footing second is combined footing strict foundation rat or mat foundation now after foundation you come to plinth level okay so the surrounding ground is known as formation level or simply ground level okay and above that you have your plinth level so the portion of the building between the ground surrounding uh, the building and the top of the floor immediately above the ground is known as plinth the plinth height should be such that after proper leveling and grading of the ground adjoining the building there is no possibility of rain water entering the ground floor the built up covered major area at that floor level is termed as plinth area now after plinth you have this floor slab which is also known as plinth now discussing about walls and columns uh, these are the vertical supports that are being used in buildings okay so as we all know it is for the enclosure of the space or to divide the floor space in desired pattern uh, in addition walls provide privacy security and give protection against sun rain cold wind and other adverse effects of weather the division of floor spaces varies from uh, the function required to perform in that building and the walls are constructed by use of different materials nowadays like the brick stone brick concrete blocks uh so if you consider uh, if you are uh, building anything with brick it will be known as brick masonry whereas if we use stone in the building unit it will be termed as stone masonry there are different types of brick masonries and stone masonries also uh, that also we will be discussing about separate video so please stay tuned and if you haven't still subscribe to my channel then please do subscribe it because i am going to be posting so many videos that will be very helpful for architecture students specifically so now talking about the columns a column may be defined as an isolated vertical load bearing member the width of which is neither less than its thickness or nor more than four times its thickness column transfers vertical load from ceiling floor roof slab or from a beam to floor or foundation okay now coming to the floor floor is also known as horizontal member it is flat supporting element of the building uh, it divides a building into different levels thereby creating more accommodation on the given plot of land floor is generally referred to by its location a floor provide accommodation below natural ground floor is known as basement okay as you can see in the picture and just above uh, ground floor is known as ground floor and above ground floor it is known as upper floors okay now talking about the staircase we all know that staircase means a number of steps that connects one floor to another 
the stair must be constructed in such a manner that it is safe to use and comfortable to use it should be located to permit easy communication and easy access as well stairs can be made from different materials again like timber stone brick steel reinforced concrete etc the selection of the type of material to be used depends upon the aesthetical importance nowadays funds available then durability and fire resisting qualities also now coming to the door windows and ventilators a door may be defined as a barrier secured in an opening left in wall to provide usual means of building room or passage for security purpose a window may be defined as an opening left in a wall for the purpose of providing light vision and ventilation okay now the topmost part is roof then building finishes and services so roof it is the uppermost component of a building and it main function is to cover the space below and to protect from rain snow sun wind etc coming to the building finishes uh, it is considered incomplete till such time the surface of the component is given appropriate treatment like plastering pointing painting varnishing etc building services include services such as water supply drainage sanitation electricity acoustics heating ventilation air conditioning fire detection and fire control okay so these are the components of a building and these are the finishes services that you will be required to uh, complete a building without this uh, services finishes and components a building cannot be completed right from next lecture we are going to be discussing about one by one uh the detail of foundation then plinth coming to the brick masonry load bearing structure frame structure so please stay tuned for that i will be back with the lecture number 2 very very soon so please stay tuned for that and if you like this video do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel below and thanks for watching i'll see you very very soon bye